important that I bring this message to you. Um, I just woke up from a dream and started rebuking and binding because I know I could hear the machine when I woke up. There is uh, frequencies that are being sent out from the God of the airwaves and we know we have 5G towers and we have all of these antennas all over the place. The Antichrist system is ready to be on and they're trying to program people's brains, make them think thoughts that are not their own, which they've been doing for a very long time, but now it's in it's such a serious way that um, they're able to put dreams and thoughts into people's minds. I think they've always been able to do this, but it's just become more blatant. And uh, my dream was about the Antichrist, and it was about Obama being the Antichrist. And I don't like dreams, I don't like visions, I don't like any of this. And I look forward to the time whenever we're in the kingdom of heaven that we don't have these things. I believe God is allowing his saints in order to know about these things, in order to warn the saints of what's going on. Because he has to allow everything to happen. As soon as I started asking Jesus to get rid of it, and I was binding all the the spirits that were that were doing this, um, I could hear the machine go off. It was in a distance. It was coming from. I don't. I know that a couple neighbors behind me have the owl on the top of their roof of their house, which means they're part of the one world system. They're part of the government. The owl represents Moloch. They are masons, Jesuits, and Shriners, and I know that they're part of this Antichrist system, the, the global order that the Bushes, uh, Reagan, Clintons, uh, Obama, Trump, and all of them, the Clintons, all of them have been planning all the way back. Roosevelt talked about the New, New Deal, the League of Nations, the New World Order, Bush has talked about, Reagan talked about, the Jesuits and Masons all talk about it. This new world order is not an order of freedom. Don't let them lie to you. It's not an order where you can think whatever thoughts you want to think. It's an order where they tell you what to think. They convince you what is right and wrong. It's slavery. And in my dream, um, I went to this place and there was this kind of, this kind of big meeting among a lot of people and, um, they were trying to convince these, first these women who were gay were trying to convince me of their way. And I said, I'm sorry, God made them male and female. I do not agree with this way. And I know and for a fact that they're sending frequencies wave signals into children's brains, into women and men and, and all, all people to make a, a gay society so that people will, will agree with them. So they're making people think that they're gay, but it's not the people's thoughts. It's being implanted into their brain by these frequencies. And it's causing confusion because Satan's the author of confusion. Now, I believe gay people can be saved. Um, I love all people. It's the, the going against God's holy way that I don't agree with because what it does is it destroys. It causes abomination of desolation. It causes everything to become desolate. And so then I went to the uh, or I was in this one area where these women were trying to convince me and I'm like, no. No, this is not right. And then all these people who had science and math, math thoughts and how the world should be tried to convince me of their thoughts. I'm like, no, that's not the way it should be. And then I was up on this, um, this up high kind of looking over at these people gathering together. And they were had a line of people. And I'm like... And, I, and I'm like, I knew that 
it was something to do with the Antichrist. Someone was going to rule and someone was going to going to be the king. And I just knew it was Obama, but I couldn't see him. I saw all these other people in a line and they're talking about their supreme being and all this stuff. And they're talking about making a world their way and trying to convince me and others that they have the right to their own way, their own thoughts, their own science, their math, their gay society, their transgenderism, and all these things. And I was disagreeing. I'm like, I don't agree. I don't agree with this way. Where is your, you're, you're going to be putting up the Antichrist as your king. And there's a line of people, and um, I'm up high overlooking this. And in the line, I could see Obama in the back, but kind of hidden. He was trying to hide amongst all these people. And I'm like, no, I know he's back there. And then I go over and I see a book. And a book has Obama's face on it, but it has all these different people and it has the ideas of these people. And I grab the book and I go, no. I go, this is wrong. I start reading out of his book going, his ways are going to cause destruction, death, dying. I'm like, this is wrong. And I open the book and I see it's their ideas for this new world order. I see that it's a, a way of their their creation, their creation. And I'm showing everyone, I go, see, this is, this is not right. This is someone else's book. This is not good. This is not going to bring life. It's going to bring death. And I, I kept you know, saying, and as I was doing this and I was going around to the people that were trying to convince me, I'm like, this is your king. This is your ideas. This is going to cause you destruction. This is going to cause you imprisonment. You're going to be slaves to this idea. You're going to be trapped in this system. And I keep hearing these machines go off and they're sending signals to other people. I could hear it. I could hear them. I could hear the, the, the 5G, the, ta the, the, the signals, the God of the air, guys. It's the God of the airwaves. The God of forces, of, of armed forces, air forces, their frequency, their wickedness. These are the sons of perdition programming people's brains. Anyways, back to the dream. So then, as the people were coming out, I could see Obama. I knew instantly that he was the Antichrist. And I was holding his book telling everyone this programmed idea that you guys believe in is going to cause you to be imprisoned. You will be in a cell. You will not be free. You not have free will. You're, you're implanted with the, these thoughts. And speaking of implantation, um, the portrait, I can't access my computer because I forgot my password. It's a new one that I have, and I don't, I don't like that. Anyways, technology is really wicked. Um, so, I, um, I did a video about the portrait, and the portrait shows a serpent on top of Obama's head in a garden. Um, and this is just Adam and Eve again, and the serpent offering these people endless knowledge. But the endless knowledge will not bring peace. It'll bring an endless seeking of this knowledge, wanting to be like God. You know, a sister said to me, you know, God's ways are unsearchable, and you know, I agree fully with her. It, it causes desolation because you're not loving one another. There's no, it's not about 
love, it's about acquiring knowledge. It's about, it, it's not healthy. Uh, you know, God did say, you know, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. But gathering up information is, is and continuing to do that is a trap in and of itself. You know, he's letting us have a, this information so that we, this knowledge, this understanding, so that we could help each other, not so that we could be puffed up with, I'm smarter than you, or anything like that. Um, no one can really... Anyways, um, so back to the God of the airwaves, the God of forces, the God of this world, this earth, this universe, versus the God of the kingdom of heaven and the new kingdom that he's creating, a place of freedom. He gave us free will. He gave, gave us a choice um, to choose what we're going to be in, whether we're going to love God and love one another as he loved us, or we're going to be in this system of endless slavery in a prison, um, these machines they have that they're using right now to program the brains of the innocent, the children, need to be prayed against. And I did wake up and I rebuked them in the name of Jesus Christ and I asked the Lord Jesus to rebuke them because those were not my thoughts. That was not my idea. Those are someone else's. And I'm free in Jesus Christ by the blood of Jesus Christ for the remission of the sins of my life and my blood record. All those sins are removed as far as the east is from the west from my blood record. Those thoughts are not mine. God freed me from another person's thoughts and even from my own wicked thoughts. What they're doing, their system, and the beast that they're raising up from the grave is just more destruction and death. So praise Jesus that we're not a part of it. 